Hey Tastemade, I'm Julie Nolke and I've got a YouTube channel called Feeling Peckish where every week I make a new recipe inspired by a movie that I love. This video you are watching is Tastemade's Hero Series. So they've put together a bunch of different tastemakers who are all making a recipe inspired by a theme. This theme? Fifty Shades of Red, all beat recipes. One, because the movie is coming out, and two, because it's almost Valentine's Day, so we're all making sexy red recipes for you. If you want to see what some of the other tastemakers are doing, make sure you stay tuned for the end of this, because it's a playlist. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing beet crusted rack of lamb with this tangy blue cheese sauce. It is delicious, so sexy, so perfect for Valentine's Day, so let's get going. I just have a couple of questions. I'm doing some research and they want to know your darkest secrets. Enlighten me then. What we're going to start with is the crust. I'll show you how to make that first, then we're going to sear the lamb, get it in the oven. So if, have you ever had one of those like beet carpaccio salads and it's like beet and walnuts and blue cheese? That's basically what we're doing. It's such a good mix of flavors that I want to crust a lamb with it and then we're going to do a delicious blue cheese rich sauce to go over top of our lamb. So we're combining all those traditional flavors but it's going to be a little different. So I roasted these last night. They don't take time. You can actually buy these already pre-roasted. In a food processor, combine the beets, panko breadcrumbs, walnuts, and a pinch of salt. Blend the mixture into fine crumbs. It should feel like wet sand. Preheat your oven to 450. For the lamb rack, season with salt and pepper. Heat up a frying pan on high. Add in a couple bugs of olive oil. Place in your lamb rack and let each side brown for a minute or so. This part is strictly for flavor. It's not meant to be cooking through. Once done, place on a plate and using a kitchen brush, paint on Dijon mustard. You want to paint the Dijon on while it's still hot because it'll actually, uh, the flavor will absorb in better. Then roll it around in the beet crumbs. Place the rack on an oven-proof pan and cook for 20 to 25 minutes depending on its thickness. While the lamb is cooking, you can prepare the sauce. Okay, so lamb's in the oven and we're gonna make the sauce for it. So it's my delicious, rich, blue cheesy sauce. Add blue cheese, white wine vinegar. Then I'm gonna do about a tablespoon and a half, AKA one glug of maple syrup. Maple syrup on everything, because we are Canadians. Add dill and a couple of tablespoons of whipping cream. And I'm going to blend it first and then I'll season it, because we'll taste it and see what we think as a collective. That lamb starts to smell good. Girl, 50 shades of deliciousness. Mm -hmm. 